Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a, another look around the shops today. I thought we would hit Primark today, and not just any old Primark, but one of the best Primarks in London. It's the one on Oxford Street by Tottenham Court Road. I want to show you all of the Christmas bits that they've got in store because the homeware department in that Primark is particularly good and I thought I would get up bright and early and hit it just as it opens so we can look at everything while it's nice and tidy and while everything is nice and quiet in store, fingers crossed. So that is my plan for this video. I want to give you a really good in-depth look at everything, show you all the Christmas decorations and the gifts, the homeware, all of the Primark festive good stuff basically. So to save your legs, to save your shopping sweats, <laughs> sit back, relax, make yourself a nice drink and make your um, Christmas list. If you've got some bits that you want to pick up for yourself, you can see what's in store and then make a list for yourself. So hopefully next time you go shopping to Primark, it will be that little bit easier for you. I feel like they've got really nice bedding in store at this time of year. I feel like Primark always really smash the Christmas bedding. So I might have a look at some of the duvet covers. I know they normally do like really nice kind of warm duvet covers, don't they? As you can see, I'm snuggled up in my dressing gown this morning. It's definitely getting chillier now. Pumpkin had me up at quarter past six this morning. He is now my official alarm clock. I don't need to set an alarm anymore because Pumpkin will be putting a paw onto my nose to let me know that it is time to get up. And it's not even for food. I think he just wants me to be awake. So it's time to kind of have some cuddles and some playtime. So Pumpkin is my new alarm, but I have been sleeping really well. I'm going to bed quite early at the moment because I think it's since the clocks change, I always just feel the need and with the darker evenings just to go to bed earlier. So I'm going to bed earlier, getting up earlier, but I am sleeping really well. And that is definitely thanks to my Emma mattress, my Emma mattress topper. And Emma Sleep have got a fantastic Black Friday sale on where you can save up to 65% off everything, plus additional discount using my code, which is Mr. Carrington. BF. It's been five years since I first got an Emma mattress and yeah, I can just highly recommend them. I also absolutely love my Emma mattress topper. It is so soft and luxurious. I also really like the Emma memory foam pillows. I sleep usually on my side. In the past, I think I've always thought of memory foam pillows as kind of really blocky. I think because I do sleep on my side, this works really well. I really rate this a lot. Look at that squish factor. <laughs> Same with the mattress top. If you want to upgrade your existing mattress, the mattress toppers are fab. And I swear by my Emma mattress. I love my Emma mattress so much that I have given it as a gift to loved ones. It's really convenient that Emma also ships around Europe. I love the fact that the mattresses have zip off covers so they're really easy to wash. As you can see, Pumpkin is a big fan. These are the um, innards that you zip into the other pillows. So you have like two layers, so you can adjust the thickness, but Pumpkin has claimed them <laughs> for his bed, haven't you? They're freshly washed. You're covering them in your fur. Emma Sleep also offers an incredible 200 night risk-free trial. So you don't have to commit. You can try out the mattress, see how you get on with it. And they also offer a 10 year guarantee. All of the information will be in the description box for you to have a browse of. Right, I need to hurry up because I want to get into town, into Primark as the shop opens. So I need to quickly get dressed and yeah, we will head into central London to Oxford Street, Tottenham Court Road, and we will hit Primarney. Is two minutes to eight, so we're just in time for oh, hello for Primark to open. I thought it might be really busy on the tubes this morning, but I think yeah, it's that early in the morning time that it wasn't too busy, it wasn't too much of a squeeze, so that was good. And it's rather quiet on Oxford Street. It's not often that you see it like this. I'm gonna cross the um, diagonal crossing. This reminds me of the one in Nashville, and now they have one at Tottenham Court Road and Oxford Street in London. And we are literally here as the 
shutters go up. Okay, in we go. Gosh, this looks very, very fancy. It's quite a formal edit, isn't it? This is the Primark edit. I have seen Freya Farrington talk about this and rate it. I'm gonna head straight to the homeware, but I just thought I would take you through the store as we head down there, just so that you can get a bit of an overview as to what is in store. Lots of Christmas party wear as you come in. I'm gonna head straight down to the Christmas bits. Yeah, Primark fashion. It's come on, hasn't it? Since back in the day, I remember coming into Primark and you'd be lucky to get a fleece in every primary colour. <laughs> Back in the day, who remembers when Primark was like that? I think I'll probably have a look around menswear while I'm here. Christmas jumpers are in store. What's the price point these days? £16, that's rather nice. Very kind of traditional one. I like these fleeces that they have. And I'm after a gilet, but I think I might get one from Vinted. 12 pounds is quite good though. I feel like they'd be quite nice to layer up. Oh, these coats are nice. 50 pounds. I like the collar on that. I think it looks really nice. Okay, let's go through to Primark Home. I want to show you everything before it gets messy. <laughs> It's great to come to Primark first thing in the morning when A, it's quiet, and B, everything's tidy. I love it, so in we go. Oh, I'm so excited to show you all the Christmas stuff. Let's start with the bedding. Super soft duvet cover set. This is a single for 20 pounds very fluffy and are these throws what have we got here oh that's the same <laughs> you can tell that I could do with another coffee at this hour onto some pink loads of the super soft stuff you want extra cozy bedding which I think many of us might be opting for this year with the cost of the old heating this is very nice. It's like a chenille kind of a uh, ribbed throw. And this bedding I bought last year, some of you will remember, and it's brushed cotton and it's washed really nicely. Um, yeah, it just kind of um, washes well and also feels really like warm to touch. It's that brushed cotton. The price on this is, what are we looking at? 18 pounds for a double and 22 for the king down there. Um, so yeah, 16 for the single set. And this small throw is six pounds. That's quite nice if you wanna just have a little pop of festive red somewhere in your home, draped over the sofa. So we have more duvet sets. Oh, what's this? A quilt. That's a nice design. That actually complements what we've just looked at with the little robins on it. 22 pounds for that. And I guess you could um, turn it over to have different designs. So you could maybe just have the green throughout winter. And then if you want to go a bit more festive, flip it over. We have the little winter spice room sachets. These are £1.30. And do you get a few in there? It says it lasts up to, it's just one, but it lasts up to four weeks doing that sniff oh that smells very nice actually yeah I thought it might smell quite synthetic but it doesn't it smells kind of like natural clovey kind of smell very festive these are nice they're kind of like what do you actually call that it's like a hanging wreath I guess for nine pounds I think that's rather nice yeah I love that it's got the kind of frosted berries on it we have some gonks here for eight pounds that's good that's quite a good size for eight pounds and then we have these wreaths for ten pounds each again rather nice i think the um 
the branches on this are quite realistic because they get narrower towards the end so I think that's a good price point for those and these reindeer tea light holders Ooh. reindeer with wings with angel wings that's three pounds Let me know in the comments if you're doing a theme for your Christmas decorations this year. I haven't got one planned, but um, I usually just wing it. <laughs> this is nice, again, this is also brushed cotton. And this is um, the same price points as the ones with the robins on. I like the trees on this, actually. It's kind of like a, a wintry design on there. They have these Sherpa duvet sets of 25. That's for a double. Would that just get really dirty? I don't know if that would just pick up like any fluff that's not white. It's very nice though. Oh, and we have some more festive bedding here. Let's have a look. That's very nice too. What have we got here? Is that a raccoon? That's 12 pounds for a single set and it's kind of quilted. We have a kind of traditional tartan duvet set here. This is 20 pounds for a double. That's got a really nice feel to it. That's very, very soft, very nice. We have some, these plant pots. These are three pounds 50. That's a good price for that size. Little penguins and a light up circular wreath with just some simple eucalyptus. It's quite white company, isn't it? That really simple wire for seven pounds. I think that would look really lovely um, hanging in a window, I always think lights like this look nice hanging windows because they kind of reflect on the glass as well or even on a mirror i think that would look really nice as we go around we have these ceramic ornaments so we have these little led ornaments kind of like a bauble or a wrapped up yeah i guess like a bauble or a wrapped up i don't know <laughs> I was going to say Christmas pudding, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, those light up and they are £4.50. Then we have some ceramic pieces. These trees are £4. The tall reindeer, look at those legs, £4.50. And then these little trees are £1.80 each. Quite nice if you're doing like a little ceramic kind of scene maybe again on a window ledge or a mantelpiece have a Santa here four pounds fifty these are nice these slightly smaller ones they're three pounds and I think these presents also light up they're four pounds and then I really like this little scene that you pop a candle in I'm tempted to get that how much is that three pounds. It reminds me of the one with the snowman that we saw in Flying Tiger. If you missed that shop with me in Flying Tiger, um, it is on my channel and it's a long one. <laughs> we look at literally every single item in there. We have this bell for four pounds. That looks quite classy, doesn't it? And it actually has a little bell in it. I feel like this kind of white, um, it's almost like a porcelain, isn't it? That's something that you could probably see, like you'd imagine seeing that in the Wedgwood shop or something, especially with that really nice um, ribbing on it and then the um, ribbon detail. You could probably switch the ribbon out as well if you wanted to. Um, oh, these are nice. That's a set of three trees and that is eight pounds for those. Um, this is going to happen, isn't it? We can't avoid it <laughs> at this time of year. We have some kind of vases down here. Oh, that's a big candle. I don't know what that's doing there. But that reminds me of the three wick ones from Diptyque. We'll look at the candles shortly. Stay tuned. Do subscribe if you haven't already. I've got brand new videos coming for you every week. Extra videos throughout November and December. That's nice, isn't it? Another light up tree, so it's like green glass. And that is nine pounds. We have these candle um, fir cones. Oh, that's got a reduction on it. So that is probably from the autumn um, collection. Let's go around and have a look at the candles here. So some more reductions. Yeah, we've got ghosts um, reduced here for two pounds and the pumpkin candles are reduced to three. Well, we would have some um, waffle makers down to 15 pounds from 24. Potentially could be a nice gift idea. 
for a Disney fan and also these ones that make the Mickey um, shaped waffles down to £20. Wow, look at these guys. These are a really good height and I think the, um, yeah, the legs change height so you can make them taller as well. These plush decorations are £25. I think that's a really good price for something so big. If it's little, what are they? Is he skiing or is he about to do some drumming? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, we have these little guys as well, these little bears for £8. And the larger ones are 25 They look really friendly, actually. I think they're really sweet. And then we have... Um, this guy, oh, have you lost an ear? Oh dear, what have you been up to while the store's been closed? You seem to have lost your smile as well. I feel sorry for this one now. <laughs> he's 14 pounds. What's happened to him? He looks like he's been in a scrap. We have, oh, these look different. These are kind of like, almost like a cotton wool <laughs> design for five pounds and these little plush decorations four pounds fifty then we've got big boxes of baubles here so lots of different options seven pounds and you get 40 that's a really good price if you want to fill out your tree so we have the traditional colors here the gold red and green then we also have a nice gold set there that's a great price I think they're all plastic, um, so good if you have pets or um, young children. We have the gingerbread family here. They're different um, sizes. I'm guessing these start at 20, oh, 14. I was gonna say he might be 25, the same as the other ones. That's good, isn't it? So he's 14 and then we have, yeah, 14 and eight pounds. The prices on these are really good. Four pounds 50 for the little one with the dangly legs and we have snowmen as well they're also four pounds fifty and the different colored gonks yeah they're all four pounds fifty with the um legs that hang over a shelf and then if you have um like a champagne theme these trees might be up your street how much is that that's seven pounds and then we have these smaller bottle brush trees for a three pack for £2.50. And then, oh, what's this? Oh, that is a stocking holder. So you pop that on the fireplace or on a shelf. And it has the hook as well for £7. I wouldn't be able to trust that though because my kittens would probably scratch the stocking down and take that with it which would give them great fun and cause me alarm. And it would probably happen in the middle of the night. <laughs> over to, oh wow. Oh my goodness, we've got so much to get through. Okay, over here is giving me H&M home vibes. How many of these do we get in a pack? So we get two for £2.50 with these paper ones. And I think that's a really good price for those. I can't remember how much they are in H&M, but I think, I think this is more reasonable. Oh wow, and look at these ones. These are uh, two pounds. Wow, that's really good, isn't it? With the kind of glitter edge on it. I think they look great and just made out of paper as well. So they're not heavy at all. So if you had a flimsy or, you know, like a not so strong branches on your tree, they would hang really nicely. And they've also got them in the white with the little wooden beads on. I think that's fantastic value. Yeah, really nice for two pounds each. Let's have a look around here. What have we got? Some little bells. So you get 12 red bells made of metal for four pounds 50. And then we have uh, more baubles here. So we've got six really quite big ones for one pound 50. And then we've got some slightly more decorative ones here £4.50 is quite a big price jump, but I guess there is quite a lot more detail in those ones. And then also large red ones for £1.50 as well. Now, I was looking at small baubles in uh, Flying Tiger, and they were, I think, £4.50 or £4 for a pack. These are £1.50. Um, yeah, just small little plastic ones if you had, like, a mini tree. 
they could be quite sweet for that. Oh, we have, I thought that was bunting for a second there, but this is one of those hanging paper decorations. I'm wondering if this one has lights in it. No, I don't think it does, but you can always pop in, um, you know, little Firefly battery operated lights into these because it does have the little um, cutouts. And that is three pounds. It's got kind of like a flocked um, texture going on there. A standing um, paper tree. These are nice, aren't they? They kind of fold out and usually Velcro together. And that is uh, four pounds for that one. And then we have mini versions of those hanging paper stars for a two pack. Um, it's two pounds, that's good, isn't it? They look really nice quality as well. They would look like kind of velvet. Here we go, that's one um, that's been put together. I think two of those for two quid's incredible, isn't it? Really, really nice. I like the burgundy and the forest green as well. Then we have these bows. I've seen people sticking these on their front doors. You can kind of wrap your front door up to look like a gift and then pop one of those in the middle. And those are £2.50. That's good. They have like a velvety one as well. And then we have this garland. It's kind of got candy cane theme and pearls in there as well. That one is £6, 180 centimetres. And then we have these felt decorations. They're really sweet for eight pounds. It's a really nice little set there. I like the sausage dog. And um, we have these hooks for one pound. You get loads there. There's a hundred, really handy for hanging ornaments on the tree. More um, wooden garlands here. So this one has some beads, but also some like felt designs on it. And then we have Oh, that's very sweet. A wooden garland here for £4.50 with the reindeer and the Christmas trees. I like that a lot. On to some of the branded Christmas decorations. We have some Marvel here. We have the Night Before Christmas. These are made out of felt. Um, for £1, we have a bottle of bubbles. Uh, Harry Potter, Night Before Christmas. Oh, you get lots here. You get loads for um, £3.50 be enough to kind of do a mini tree there. These are great, aren't they? Star Wars, a little snow globe ornament with Spider-Man inside. These are fab. And then we have a Bugs Bunny wreath here, a Looney Tunes, and that one is 14 pounds. Little Harry Potter ones. I've heard that novelty ornaments are big this year bigger than ever and the price is in here oh that's cute it's like a santa and a star and that's metal for two pounds little ceramic reindeers here for two pounds oh i think he's lost his tail he's like a balloon animal letters for santa tin for two pounds these remind me of ones that i saw in um, target when i was in the us sweets if you're doing that kind of candy cane theme for two pounds they have some different designs of those toadstools these are wooden for two pounds these are nice these felt snowmen carrying the holly four pounds fifty have a very fluffy deer here for a two pound and then we have is that pig a ballerina pig i'm guessing four pounds fifty oh these are sweet look at that little doggy four pounds fifty I think these felt ones will be really popular and a little mouse on a sleigh there for four pounds fifty these sets of bows are one pound eighty they come with wire so i guess you could wire those onto the tree or use them for gift wrapping and then we have some oversized sweets here so three pounds fifty for those where would you hang those i guess maybe on a garland if you're doing like a big garland above a fireplace or even outdoors actually, because they are made out of plastic, so they wouldn't smash in the wind. They're cool, aren't they? Very jaggedy looking stars, two pounds each for those. Wooden snowflakes, you get two for two pounds. And these bead ornaments, there's four there for two pounds. Velvet bows for two pounds for two. Is this an artichoke? 
I think it's an artichoke that is very glittery as well. Two pounds for two again. Wine glasses, martini glasses, a little two packs for two pounds. What have we got here? That says joy, that's nice. For three pounds, you could just hang that somewhere, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but I mean somewhere that's not the tree. And these little wooden decorations, you get loads of those for three pounds. That's really good actually, if you wanted just a really simple, I think if you had a real Christmas tree and it was a small one, just decorated with those, look lovely. They have a full range of Harry Potter Christmas tree decorations. So we have tree toppers for eight pounds. We have the different baubles, another stocking hanger. That one is, seven pounds look at all the grinch stuff so they have an advent calendar i'm guessing you put your own bits and pieces in there for 25 pounds i mean that's one that you could bring out year after year so i think that's really nice and does it light up yeah led yeah so that does light up that's really lovely and then we have the cushions here these are nine pounds little tumblers for eight and then we have these napkin sets. These are two pounds 50 and mug sets. So you get two for eight pounds. And then the little um, figures here, 25 pounds for that one. How much is this guy? That's 19. So loads of Grinch stuff in store for any Grinch fans. Are these hot water bottles? I think they are, you know. Yeah, little hot water bottles for 10. And then we have ornaments here as well. So a felt garland for eight pounds. And then we have the individual hanging ornaments for four pounds each. Loads to choose from. Merry Grinchmas, a little. Oh, that's a snow globe, but there's no, no water in it. Interesting. <laughs> Hanging wooden decorations, you get 12 for four pounds. And onto some Star Wars here. And these are all two pounds each. There's felt ones and wooden ones. And then we have, oh, that's good fun. You poke that, I'm guessing into like a vase or into the ground or wherever you want to poke it. <laughs> that is six pounds. Loads more novelty decorations here. So we have donuts, these are all one pound each. I think these are cheaper than Flying Tiger. Uh, little stacks of macaroons, they're all plastic. So they're not gonna smash. Lobster, the aubergine uh, gifts, little rainbows, and um, champagne bottles, and little stockings. Oh, this is cute, with the bells on it. That's two pounds. Um, two packs of mirror balls, really effective. I like the way they send um, the light everywhere. Those are uh, three pounds for two. Little pom-pom baubles for two pounds. Some of you may have been here when I made my pom-pom wreath DIY. That is still up on my channel if you want to have a go at making one for yourself. You've got any spare wool knocking about at home. It's really easy to do. And then we have loads of traditional ones here at one pound each for the stars, you get two. Uh, silver as well, I haven't seen a lot of silver in store, but there is some silver. Oh, there we go, that is the classic Primark shopping bag for one pound. And we have more candy cane designs here. So these are all plastic ones for two pounds, you get two. And then we have these little Santas, they're very sweet. Carrying a gift for one pound and these Christmas trees as well for one pound each. Oh wow, look at these nutcrackers. They are a really good height. So these really tall ones are 20 pounds. I think they would look really good either side of a front door if you had a porch to kind of welcome people into your home. They also have smaller ones here. These ones are eight pounds and seven pounds for that size. Oh, his mouth just opened. <laughs> Close your mouth. I'm trying to show people what you look like. They're quite nicely painted, aren't they? I mean, these would all be hand painted. Quite a lot of detail and work has gone into those. 
I like the fact that they've got bling buttons on them. I always love this display because they put things out all together so you can kind of get an overview of what things look like near to each other. These cushions are really sweet. For £8 you've got the different reindeers with the Rudolph noses on them and then we've got this cushion up here with pom-pom tree ornaments for £10. It's kind of velvet. Um, we have this little sign so you can write on here I'm guessing with a chalk how many days left until Christmas. I like that a lot. How much are you? Sorry it's tricky to do this with one hand sometimes. Uh, five pounds. I think he's really sweet. I like his funny little skinny legs. <laughs> these trees, these glittery ones are four pounds each. Diffusers with the sweet cinnamon and apple, slightly on the synthetic side. So I'm not going to recommend, but I do like the smell of those um, room sachets. I thought those were really nice. Oh, they've all got, their mouths look like, you need to make them smile, but cheer up, it's better. <laughs> Don't like them looking sad. They look worried, that's better. There we go, look, look he's happy now. Yay! They're, they're all smiling now. I don't know what went on in the store last night, but I feel like there was some sort of scrap or something happened. We have um, two Santa, a nice letter. That's really nice. Look at the detail on that with the embroidery and the stamp, eight pounds for that. And it's got like a velvety back on it. Like that a lot. A Santa mailbox. It's very sweet for six pounds. That's metal, that should last. We have um, these Christmas pudding cushions for eight pounds little bells for two pounds for a set of three and they kind of all hang together like that so where would you hang those i'm not sure if they've got a particular kind of purpose or whether they're just like you hang them randomly do let me know um oops quite loud aren't they we have um, these bottle brush trees for seven pounds quite a good size. If you're going for quite a kind of simple stripped back design or theme, you have these kind of almost like a marble and then a really simple gold tree there, uh, stocking hangers for seven pounds. I think they're really nice. They've got a nice bit of weight to them as well. They feel like good quality. This knitted throw is 12 pounds. That's really nice. It's kind of knitted, but also kind of that soft chenille kind of fabric 120 by 150 centimeters i think these are going to be popular these are christmas candles eight pounds and yeah it's like the classic red truck and i guess once you've burnt that out you could probably pop a christmas plant in there maybe like a little poinsettia that smells nice it's very subtle but um yeah very festive at the same time little pine cone ornament so they've literally just got the string on those so you can hang them up for two pounds fifty if you've got like a natural tree you could go for something like that it's a nice glaze on there and then they've got the um christmas tree or a uh, fir forest design on there four pounds fifty juniper and pine that's nice smells good little penguin candle sticks for two pounds and essential oil blend for room fragrance use um, we've got um, sage and cedar apple and cinnamon and orange and sandalwood for four pounds and then we have these diffusers oh rather than sticks it has like this wooden tree to pop in it oh no it does have sticks <laughs> excuse me i didn't notice that at the back there um this has the little red car on there as well the little Cute little dog, little sausage dog. How much is that? Six pounds. And then we have these little ornaments with the dangly legs for three pounds each, the mouse and the penguin. A Jingle Bells cushion for eight pounds. Good size, that one, nice pop of color. And you can always switch it around as well if you wanted to have it a little bit more simple. And then, oh, here's little um, poinsettia plants, two pounds 50. It's quite a nice colour, that one. Sometimes they look a bit too brightly uh, red, but that looks 
quite realistic actually. They're tricky to keep alive, aren't they? Any poinsettia tips? <laughs> Mine never last very long. Okay, let's go into the foliage, the flower shop. So they have lots of really nice branches. And the great thing about these, I always think, is that you can just mix a few of these in with some foliage that you collect. You could go foraging and just a couple of those in amongst it immediately kind of makes it festive. So three pounds for that. And even that on its own, yeah, with a bit of holly or, you know, uh, eucalyptus could look really nice. And um, these silver ones are three pounds as well. Oh, that's different. That's really catching the light. So it's mirrored in different sections and that's three pounds and it's kind of made of metal. Very effective, it's a little bit dusty. <laughs> we have some like very sparkly eucalyptus here in like a brownie color for 12 pounds. I guess if you want just like a winter wreath, something that you can pop up now and it'll take you all the way through. Uh, six pounds for this one, that's mistletoe, like frosted berries on there. And then we have um, eucalyptus branches. We have some really nice long garlands as well. I like this one with the um, frosted foliage and the pine cones. This also lights up and that one is 12 pounds. I think the prices on these are pretty good. Kind of really silvery looking one here, that's slightly thinner for 10 pounds, uh, eucalyptus, just gold eucalyptus. And again, I guess these are things that you could add to as well. Uh, nine pounds for that. These berries, what are they? Are they cranberries? Anyway, they are 12 pounds. The problem with these, I do notice they always catch and then the polystyrene shows through. I guess you could top, um, top it up, patch it up with um, a red nail polish if you've got that home and a few little bits like that were showing through. These lovely white berries as well, I like this one. That one is 12 pounds. And then we have some wreaths here. So this one with the trees on, I think these light up as well. That is 16 pounds, that's really nice. We have a little star one here, just really simple on the metal for just three pounds 50 with the mistletoe hanging down in there. And we have a heart-shaped, oops, we have a heart-shaped version of that. That one, um, again, is £3.50. A really simple star one with some glittery eucalyptus for £3.50. I mean, that is enough to make your front door festive, isn't it? For £3.50, you can't go wrong with one of those. And this one is £6, and again, I think that is really, really lovely. Looks so pretty on a front door or hanging on... Um, any door or anywhere around the home and then have we seen this one I don't think we have now that's also battery operated these white ones are 12 pounds each and then we have this simple one with the holly on there that's six pounds oh and this is like just kind of like your classic garland for 12 pounds and then we have some Really quite big stems. I think these would be really effective as well. Oh, I like that. Be quite messy. <laughs> You've always got to think about the glitter or the flocking. <laughs> think about how much mess it's gonna make. That is three pounds, but I think that's really effective. Good size and a lot of kind of texture on there. I like the fact that it does look like it's just been freshly snowed on. But yeah, look at all those bits dropping off it. We have um, the red ones as well. I think they're really nice. Random and um, throw in some sunflowers, why not? <laughs> they're pretty too. There's some things in here that I would never pick out, but when I show you everything, then I sort of really notice them and appreciate them more. And I feel like that is one of those things that could look really nice. Three pounds. I think if you were going for a tree that was like that champagne pink color, you could shove these into it to fill it out a bit and they would look fab. Lots of these things you can use um, on your tree as well, can't you just poke them in and have those kind of showing through and they can look really, really luxurious and really fill out a thin looking Christmas tree. Have little gold stars here as well. It's interesting. I feel like that'd be quite nice for like a New Year's Eve display. This is quite a nice hanging piece as well and that one is 
six pounds, that's good, isn't it? That's really big. I found a baby Christmas tree for eight pounds. It's quite a sweet little size, that one. And these trees, they come in different heights. That one's seven pounds. Be quite nice for a display. That one is four pounds 50. Let's have a look at the cushion, see if I've missed any. This snowflake is rather nice. That's actually all beadwork and like a satin type fabric for £10. I think that's very nice. We're thinking that's a little bit white company, perhaps? Looks expensive, doesn't it? We have the naughty or nice cushion for £8. And then this Noel cushion, it's kind of like a linen style fabric and then like little bead work on there. That's £10. We have these fluffy cushions and throws the cushions are eight pounds and the throws are 14. they also have this star design these little what bird are you is that a white robin that is four pounds 50. i love that i love the hat <laughs> really sweet even if i don't know what bird it is oh some silver baubles there we go so we have some silver they've just put it all together um, silver nutcrackers as well for nine pounds and a silver wreath here for six pounds that's good isn't it wow i like the way they've sprayed these leaves it almost looks like they're real leaves that somebody has sprayed themselves what's this gingerbread house oh another room sachet let's give that one a sniff yeah that's nice those are £1.30. Um, these throws are £18. We have some candy cane. I guess this is kind of aimed more at kids' bedrooms. Although, if you fancy it, why not? That's £20 for that set. Um, what have we got here? Oh, a storage cube. That's four pounds. That could be quite nice for um, popping Christmas decorations away. Just folds out. It looks like it would slide into a, actually it would be a little bit smaller than an Ikea Pax, but it would fit inside those um, square Ikea units. We have a Christmas tree skirt in the, the tartan fabric for eight pounds. What have we got here? Oh, it's a cushion for 10 pounds and it says to, it plays Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and his nose flashes. We have um, this throw, that's very sweet with the little Santas. I like the design on that, very kind of retro, 12 pounds. And again, this is very retro, isn't it? This quilt for 14 pounds. Looks really old school. <laughs> I like that, ho 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 cushions. Those are eight pounds each, it's big. Very um, long. Just scanning around, see if I've missed anything. Oh, we have some stockings down here. So this plain white one is five pounds. Again, another bit of a white company dupe there, I think. We have, oh, some more um, hanging suites. Three pounds 50 for those. We have Holly Jolly stocking here with pom-poms. Oh yeah, so you fold it down like that. That's five pounds. And we have tartan ones for five pounds each. We have a Christmas tree skirt here for eight pounds that says merry and bright on it. Um, Christmas tree cushions for, how much are you? Oh, it lights up as well for 10 pounds. Is it gonna give us a tune though? That is the question. That's jingle bells. It's a tree cushion that's playing. I mean, why isn't it playing rocking around the Christmas tree? That is the question. <laughs> oh, little Santa cushion for eight pounds. It's very fluffy uh, beard. Bedding here, I'm trying to get an idea of what the, um, oh, there we go. I was gonna say what the um, print's like. That's cute, isn't it? I feel like that's something you might see in somewhere like John Lewis. And that is uh, £10 for the single. I like that. See, on the, you wouldn't sit, notice that, would you? 
Sometimes you have to have a good look at the little picture, unless they've put it out on a bed display to get a proper idea of it. Okay, some kitchenware here. We have these Santa placemats for five pounds. Four packs of straws for one pound fifty. And then we have these tea towels with little legs hanging down for five pounds. Very cute. These are quite sweet, these little, they're plastic bottles with the um, Father Christmas or Gingerbread Man for three pounds each. That's the um, gingerbread one. Little reindeer napkins here. You get 24 for £1.50. Okay, I love this. <laughs> Look at that. That is so sweet. £3.50, like a little nibbles bowl. Imagine like eating your festive nuts and then you've got Santa <laughs> at the bottom of the bowl. I think that's really cute. We have some Christmas cups um, for children, but I guess as well could be fun for adults for £3.50. You get four in there. Oh, a cake stand. It's a one-off. £10 for the red cake stand there. Well, this section's rather popular by the looks of things. What have we got here? Okay, I haven't seen this mug elsewhere. That is a fantastic mug. That is £4. There might be a mug section that I've missed. We will continue. We have some wooden coasters for £4.50 for four. And these um, cork board placemats for £6 with the trees on. These little pinch bowls are £3.50. And I guess you could use those throughout the year as well, but they are in the festive colours. Uh, napkins, you get a two pack for £3.50. Oh, these are nice. Cool. Christmas tree snack boards. I'm imagining like olives, cheeses, that sort of thing for £6. I like the um, wood on that. It's a nice colour, isn't it? And then tablecloths for £14 that match those napkins. They have really tall dinner candles in store. You've got silver ones and gold ones, and those are £3 for two. Oh, they have more of these paper decorations here, but the larger sizes. So you get a box with four of them, and those are £5. So I think those, with a few of those other ones mixed in, could look really good all together. And they look definitely more expensive than um, five pounds for four. I think that is great. Little ceramic gonk here for four pounds 50. I think these are going to be really popular as well. These rattan trays, these are seven pounds each, just with the simple Christmas tree design. Kind of like nice for like a um, festive fruit bowl, putting satsumas and walnuts and things like that in there. We have these star-shaped bowls. They're quite deep, aren't they, for four pounds each. And then we have these snowflake design bowls for three pounds 50. They have mugs as well. These are three pounds each. And these little kind of serving dishes for seven pounds. And then, oh yeah, smaller plates as well. Those ones are five, five pounds. It's quite a lot for one plate, isn't it? It's gonna add up if you bought a set of those. We have, oh, some more mugs here. I do love this one, I think that is fantastic. We also have a really sweet, quite classic looking Disney mug here. I love a candy cane handle and the kind of glaze on this is really nice too. And that is four pounds, quite a nice size as well. And then these packs of tea towels are two for five pounds with the dangly legs. And then we have a nice design on the other one. It's very cute. This is a place card holder for one pound 50. But you could also use that as a little picture frame. Couldn't you pop a Polaroid or a photograph in there? Just use it to display display a photo and then we have some napkin um, rings here as well I like these they're very kind of traditional as well aren't they and you get two for three pounds fifty and then we also have 
these two pack bauble name holds as well. I feel like these are very white company too and they are four pounds for two. Yeah, I definitely think I've seen something similar to that in the white company and um, especially with this kind of antique glass design. I found a lone glass mug here for five pounds. The kind of very uh, detailed design on there. I never get glass mugs. They kind of scare me a little bit. <laughs> I always think, what if it breaks? But I know that any mug could just break, so I might have just gone delirious at this point. I mean, what is that? <laughs> I love it. It is a fried egg plate for three pounds. Okay, back to Christmas. These trays, although not specifically for Christmas, I feel it would look quite nice at this time of year if you are going for your silvers. Uh, seven pounds for that as well. I think some tree ornaments on there, reflecting. Let me just grab one to show you what I mean. This is where I start rearranging the shop. <laughs> but imagine three Christmas trees on there, and especially with that one lighting up immediately, that's elevated it, hasn't it? We do have um, lights as well, which I guess I should show you for this time of year. So the Firefly ones are now £2.50. And then we have oh, some rose lights, £3. Um, curtain LED lights for £10. Let's have a little look at the hot water bottles. I think something that, again, would be very popular at this time of year. We have the little sloth ones for seven pounds really soft that's so nice and what is he leopard oh it's a hot water bottle and pajama case that's nice seven pounds so do we have a little bit of additional storage in there and then we have these ones for five pounds six pounds a leopard one down there for six. Oh, that's interesting it's kind of very 60s isn't it six pounds for that. We have um, plain white throws as well, which may be of interest to some of you at this time of year, especially. Probably use that as a tree skirt. This throw has caught my eye, look at that. Really chunky and really big tassels on it. I feel like that would look really expensive, like draped over a sofa. And a nod to this, you know, like the tartan, this kind of festive time of year without it being um, too Christmassy. Feels really soft as well. I like that. I can't see many of them. I'm not sure where that one has came from. It's all on its own. <laughs> you find that, don't you, in Primark sometimes? Just find like a random thing all by itself. They have got loads and loads of fab bedding in here. Just have a quick look at the cushion covers. They have ones from just £3 in you know, slightly festive colours as well, like the greens. We also have a tartan one here. That is um, eight pounds, but you get two. And if you already have the um, cushion inners at home, which they do sell in store as well, these are um, two pounds each for a 45 centimetre one. Ooh, it's very um, furry, four pounds for that. And they also do two packs of cushions with the um, inners in them for nine pounds and they feel lovely. Really soft, white faux fur. These can look quite nice, can't they? Just really, really simple ones for nine pounds each. Feels really nice too. And a knitted red one, I think as well, that kind of mixed in with that, either the boot clay or just the faux fur with the different textures could all work really nicely together. That's £12. Ooh. Bolster cushions, £10, and then the matching stripes. I think in the right kind of um, style apartment or um, home, like in a period property with dark walls, that could really pop and look really quite, quite special. And maybe on like an antique style sofa, I think they would look really nice. The furniture in Primark's pretty good, isn't it? It's always worth having a look in this area just to see and um, what the furniture's like. And also they often have pieces um, reduced, I've noticed, but yeah, some nice bits, nice wooden shelving. They also have rugs in store. Um, just something to let you know about 
I mean, who wants to take a rug home from Oxford Street? I don't know, but yeah, nice um, designs, 45 pounds. Boot clay chair there for 80. Oh, I like this bench, I haven't seen that before. That's a really nice kind of sit and put your shoes on <laughs> kind of bench. Would be quite good in a hallway, wouldn't it? Feels quite robust as well. A lot of um, Primark stuff is online as well if you do want to check anything. That's nice as well, the shoe storage there for £28. Some more candles over here, or candle holders. This house is £3.50. It's um, yeah, kind of just wintry, isn't it? Or I guess you could have that all year round. A mistletoe kiss. Oh, that's a candle. Someone's opened this one. Just give it a little sniff. Very subtle. Nice containers though. We have these unscented stars for £2.50. Oh, they've got these, um, this style of candles. You see these in a lot of the shops. M&S do them, um, John Lewis do them. I've seen them in heels. Um, and White Company, of course. Um, cinnamon and spiced vanilla, five pounds for that. It is nice when you have the, um, the branches and the berries within the wax. Have I shown you all of the Christmas candles? Oh, these tins I've had in the past, five pounds. And yeah, quite subtle again, but quite nice with the three wicks. They always look really pretty burning on a coffee table. Rosemary and Pine Room Spray for £4.50 and Winter Wonderland for £3. I'm not sure about Primark candles. I feel like... I feel like Home Sense is the best place to get your candles at this time of year, isn't it? This is Cinnamon Spice. That's quite a nice container, though. That's six. Let's give that a sniff. Again, subtle. <laughs> I'm going to describe every candle as subtle. I do like these. Those are three pounds. Just really simple. Do like that a lot. Just spotted these plates. These are four pounds each. Oh, and there's a little nutcracker one there as well. I like the um, glazed edge on those. And then down here, we have another mug little robins on it and that one is three pounds oh i don't think i saw those baubles before four pounds fifty for those if you're into the silver and it looks like these have been cleared out but we have these christmas tablecloths for ten pounds each there's only a couple left so yeah i feel like i've missed a few bits i've just gone around for another kind of look and these are like the random bits that i missed this is nice this is a glass framed mirror Quite an unusual shape for £10. On to the Disney. We have a, oh, 25 days of Disney baubles um, for £17. It's quite a nice advent calendar idea because then obviously you have all the um, decorations to decorate your tree with. I think that's a great idea. And they're all made um, using recycled plastic as well. We have a tree topper there and we have loads and loads of ornaments for all of you Disney fans. Uh, £1.80 for the wooden ones and then that's £6 for Minnie there. Uh, £2 for the Mickeys. We have yet yeah, loads and loads of the Disney ones. £5 for these. I like the um, little sweater, that's very cute. For two pounds and we have the baubles for five pounds for four and then you also have sets of six for five pounds of smaller ones it's hard to see them all but it looks like there's like a mirrorball design um, like some pink ones in there we have a mickey mug for five pounds and i think this looks like some Disney, yeah, Sherpa bedding. So for a single, it is £19 for the set. And a little frozen uh, snow globe, is that? No, that's an ornament as well. Bauble decoration for £10. Disney 100 at Primark. Oh, we have stitch decorations here as well. So you get, um, how many of those do you get? It's 
14 pounds and you do get a lot in there. Just spied this lone mixing bowl. Can't see a price on it. <laughs> Just some random bits. Oh, microfiber cloths, so Christmas cleaning. How much are those? Uh, two pounds, that's good. Oh, and I really like these little plates. Um, excuse this situation. I mean, yeah, you can tell it's now past 9 a.m. We have the plates for three pounds 50. I think that's really, really adorable. Oh, and we have the star-shaped baskets as well. And that is seven pounds. Well, they also have a merry and bright sack here for eight pounds. That's quite good size, isn't it? That's a good price. Okay, I've ventured into menswear to see what we have in this section. This is the trend section. I like this jacket. That's rather nice. That is, what have we got? £35. Oh, this is the chem range. I like the trainers too. They're uh, 20 And yeah, that coat's lovely. £50 for that. Very nice indeed. They also have these kind of cohort sets. The kind of, um, like the um, piped trousers and t-shirts the um, bottoms are 20 pounds I'm just wondering how that would wash whether it would bobble or not but I like the color it's kind of like a dark brown quite a nice jumper that is very soft 16 pounds seen quite a lot of cardigans around this year I feel like they've made quite a comeback for gents 16 pounds for that I don't think they suit me but um, I do like them this is quite nice, this fleece for 20. Loads of gilets, body warmers, and um, hooded ones as well. These are around the 20 pound mark. They have plain and simple puffer jackets for 15 pounds. Not sure how warm these would be, but quite nice just for a light, light layering piece and a good price too. Let's have a look at what the um, mannequins are wearing. It's always a good place to start, isn't it? I like that roll neck. It's a nice coat as well for £30. I think this is it here. Nice uh, jacket there. 20. Quite a nice selection of scarves here. Around uh, the 5 to £8 mark. I always think uh, Primark's a good place to pick up some pyjama sets as well. These are just £8 for those ones. They also have all the um, cosy dressing gowns and snoodies in store as well for £24. These are nice, these lounge sets, just um, really simple, quite thin fabric for 18 I think that's quite nice. I prefer these to the um, pyjama sets with any kind of branding on. And also they do these jersey legs as well, so if you're somebody that just likes to wear like t-shirts, but just want some like bottoms for lounging in or sleeping in. They're quite nice. I think they're cotton as well. And if you want to go festive, they do have the brushed cotton pajama sets in the tartan material for 15 pounds. Feels really lovely actually. Just thought I would quickly show you the Christmas jumpers as you come into the store. They're all um, 10 pounds. Just give you a quick scan of those as well as it is the season. We have ones with, oh, that's very sweet. That's 14 pounds. I feel like that's gonna be popular. And I like the tr really traditional looking ones. Those are 14 pounds for those. And Elf sequin design, again, 14. These ones are really soft. Didn't see, did I see? Oh, I saw a couple in menswear. I just skimmed past them. 14 pounds. Yeah, loads and loads of choice. They've also got jumpers that just have bling as opposed to being super Christmassy. And what have we got over here? A couple of like nutcracker type things. He looks a bit angry, doesn't he? A uh, 10 pounds. Oh, a Christmas cardi, 14. That's nice as well, isn't it? 14. They do also have a second hand section in Primark with some uh, Christmas jumpers in for £15 each. So it might be worth having a little look in this section if you want to pick up something really unusual um, and individual. That's quite nice. £30, they're more expensive actually. Some of them, yeah, are 15 
home to excuse the cap hair. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? They have got some incredible bits in store at the moment. We are spoiled for choice in Primark Home. I hope that was useful to you. I feel like having a good overview before you hit Primark can be really handy. I've actually come home with nothing, and that is because I'm gonna be editing this video and having a, a little rethink about the bits that I've seen. Is there anything that I want to be introducing to my home? I haven't got my Christmas decorations out yet, and I do want to sort through them and see what I've got already before I buy anything else in. So yeah, as I edit, I will be having a look through and then I do need to do a bit of an audit of the bits and pieces that I've got already. And um, yeah, maybe pop back into store um, on a day when I'm not vlogging to do a bit of shopping. And of course, if I do, I will share those bits that come home with me in a haul for you or within a vlog. Um, but yeah, in terms of my Primark shopping tips, if you would like those, definitely go early if you can. If you can go there on a weekday, even better. I know that's difficult for many people, but with some of the Primarks opening at like 8am, I think the one on Oxford Street also closes at 10pm, so also later in the evening. Um, it can be very quiet in there, but also by that point, it's gonna be messy. So I think the morning is definitely the best time to go in to have a proper good browse. It was so quiet in there, I was so lucky today. Only a couple of other people in there between kind of 8 and 9 a.m. And then around about 9 a.m. it started to get busier, but still really quiet. So yeah, mornings are the one. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this useful. Do make your shopping list so when you go into store, um, you know what it is that you're after. Grab a basket as you go into the store, of course. Um, that's always handy, because otherwise you have to go all the way back to the doors to get your basket usually. Um, otherwise they usually buy the tills and factor in your queuing time as well because you're always going to be in the queue for around 10 to 15 minutes on average in Primark aren't you so yeah if you've got like somewhere to be you kind of need to keep that little bit of time at the end but I hope that's useful to you oh, also wear your layers because it gets very warm in store I have noticed so yeah don't um, go in there with a super heavy coat on. So yeah, if you are treating yourself to some new Christmas bedding and you're considering upgrading your mattress, your duvet, any of those bits for your bed or as a gift for somebody else, do make the most of the incredible savings to be had with the Emma Sleep Black Friday sale. I'll leave you my code in the description box so you can make sure you're getting the best price with up to 65% off everything and that additional discount for you. So you can click straight through. Remember, it's a 200 night risk-free trial and also a 10 year guarantee. So happy shopping if you do hit the Emma sale and also if you hit Primark as well. Um, let me know if you pick up any bits and how you get on with them. I would love to know. Let me know in the comments which item was your favourite as we went around the store. What caught your eye? What would have fallen into your basket? Has anything made your Christmas shopping list? But that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye.